everybody in today's video i'm going to be unboxing my latest purchase from amazon this is the two pack of solar spotlights from the company aloft sun direct that's with all my purchases i like doing these unboxings in case there's somebody else out there thinking about buying the same item they want to get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in what's quality like etc so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do a quick unboxing show you everything we get and then once i get them charged up maybe i can show you a little bit of the brightness they do have a couple of different modes and maybe i can show you what those modes look like so first and foremost you get two different options when you purchase these you can either do cold white or you can do warm white let's take a look i'm not going to show you both of them you get two of basically the same thing so let me see if i can give you a look at the card that's on there they are solar powered, no need for batteries at all. And they're pretty cool. Oh, it's pretty tight. You've got this adjustable arm. You've got two different ways you can mount these. They give you some hardware screws. You can simply screw this into a wall and mount it as such, or you can use the ground sleeves or the ground stakes, I should say. They give you two ground stakes if you wanted to put it in the ground in a flower bed or something like that. 30 LEDs. I mentioned that they have different modes. You basically have a dim mode that will go for 12 hours. It uses auto light sensitivity. So once it gets a certain level of darkness, cuts on automatically. Once the sun comes up or the battery dies, whichever happens first, they will turn off automatically. That's going to be on the dim mode. Then you've got a medium mode. It will go for up to six hours. You can either use the light sensitivity to turn on and off automatically, or you can set it to motion detection. You've got a built-in motion sensor as well. And then last but not least, you have a high mode. It's like a spotlight setting, and that's gonna be for motion only. And again, once I get these charged, I'll give you an idea of what those different modes look like. Aside from the two lights, The mounting hardware, the ground stakes, and then you've got a little user manual comes with it as well. Anyway, that's a quick unboxing. Let's take a look at what they look like when they're charged. All right, so I had a chance to get these open. I was gonna take them out and charge them, but it turns out they're already charged straight out of the box. So I thought I would show you how the different modes work. Now I'm just gonna show you on this one light. Again, you get two lights in this package, so it's gonna work the same way. If you look on the inside here, there's a little button. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. That's going to be your mode button. This light basically has three different modes. You have a dim mode, you have a medium mode, and then you have a sensor only mode. And it's really pretty cool. If you're wanting to use them as landscape lights, you would use low or medium. If you're wanting to use them for security purposes, then you might just want to put on the uh, sensor only mode. The mode I'm currently on is off. If I press the mode button one time, it will blink once, basically turns on, blinks once, and we are in dim mode. Dim mode, the light will stay on all the time. It'll be in a dim uh, setting, but if it detects motion, it will automatically turn to high. So that's gonna be your first mode. If you press the mode button again, it will blink two times. It'll let you know that it is in the second mode, which is medium mode. Medium mode, again, the light will stay on at all times, but the LED will be a little bit brighter than dim mode. And then while I'm in mode number two, if I press the mode button one more time, it'll go to mode number three, which is basically sensor only mode. You'll notice that the light is turned totally off. It will not turn on unless something uh, goes in front of it and sets off the motion sensor. I will move my hand in front of it and you can see that now it's turned on the motion sensor. The light will turn on for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, it will turn off automatically and reset the motion sensor. If you're going to be away for a while or you don't want to use the lights, if you press the mode button while you're in sensor mode, that turns off the light and you've got it shut off. So it's basically just a toggle button. If you're off, you can go to mode one, mode two, sensor mode, or you can turn it off. Pretty simple stuff, nice and bright. And then you've got some options as far as your modes. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.